I'm Alex Bice, a features reporter and a lover of all things craft beer. I'll be your guide through the New Jersey beer scene. With some choice records spinning and some fine beer pouring, perhaps there's no other New Jersey brewery right now with more buzz than Icarus in Lakewood. And so for this last episode of season one of Jersey Brewed, we decided to go back to where it all sort of began. For craft beer fans in, in this state, in this region, you know, like Icarus is, uh, there's a lot of buzz, there's a lot of hype behind you guys. What would you say is probably driving uh, a, lot of the, uh, a lot of the adulation, a lot of the interest in, in your brand and what you're doing? I think that the biggest thing we have going for us is consistency. We've made sure that we're showing that we are constantly making beer that people will love and only getting better from there. As well as we're trying to make everything a little bit more available. Uh, we've shown that with the way we've distributed, you know, getting out to over 100 bars, 200 liquor stores throughout the state, just so our beer is always accessible to people. Uh, I'm, I've been a big crap beer fan most of my life, it's always going out to every brewery, trying to get every single release. And it's nice to have the releases also come to you. What also makes these beers easy to find on increasingly crowded liquor store shelves is some of the more eye-catching can art on the market today. Who designs these labels and uh, where do these ideas come from? Because they're all so distinct and so eye-catching. So just like everything else we do around here, we try to be a little bit different. My designer is uh, he's based out of London um, and, I, and I like that because he's not seeing what's being offered in the U.S. He's doing what he likes. And in all ways, it's a collaboration. We come up with ideas, we throw out, out at him, hey, this is what we're doing, this is the beer, this is the style, this is our description, this is our thoughts on it. Take that as you may, sometimes he runs with it, sometimes he realizes and says, he's a designer. He actually does know better than us, and we accept that, and he comes up with greatness. Some of them have got a story behind them, some of them are a bit more abstract. Um, but there's always, yeah, a real emphasis on pushing something that looks creative in a, in a fridge um, and also uh, backs up with the story of the beer is, yeah. My favourite, to be honest, has been Spellcheck. Really different, like, if they had, I've been pushing Jason to try and get someone going in London because, like, that will take over, that will completely take over, yeah. It's uh, such a different, like, smooth taste. And now the Jersey Brew report card for Icarus Brewing in Lakewood. The beer at Icarus gets an A. Plain and simple, there is few beer being put out in New Jersey that can top what Jason Goldstein and his team down at Icarus are doing. The variety gets a B plus. They leaned pretty heavy on the Juice Bomb New England IPA style for spring and summer, so we're looking forward to seeing how they mix it up in the fall and winter. The tasting room gets an A. Whether you're in the prime tasting room, enjoying some good records and playing a couple of board games, or heading to the more industrial functional side of things, this has either vibe you could be looking for right now. The must-have beer at Icarus Brewing is not a schooner. This Yacht Juice variant IPA has a rich, thick, and complex body with a tart and fruity finish, and it is simply delightful. And the final grade for Icarus Brewing in Lakewood is an A. We've enjoyed bringing you a taste of the New Jersey craft beer scene on this first season of Jersey Brewed. But where do you want to see us go next? Let us know in the comments and on social media, and we'll see you soon for season two.